Imagine a building material that's fireproof, mold-proof, and breathes life into your home, and actually cleans the air as it's built. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. It's called hempcrete, and it's so revolutionary, so profoundly good for our planet and our homes, that for decades it was effectively made illegal. You're about to discover the material they tried to bury, and why it's poised to redefine how we build forever. The benefits of hempcrete are truly astonishing. First off, forget everything you thought you knew about insulation. Hempcrete isn't just an insulator, it's a thermal regulator. Unlike conventional insulation that just slows heat transfer, hempcrete has thermal mass. Think of it like a natural battery for heat. During the day, it slowly absorbs heat, and at night, it slowly releases it. This means stable, comfortable temperatures inside, year-round, with significantly less energy needed for heating and cooling. That's not just savings, that's a whole new level to comfort and efficiency. But it gets better. Hempcrete is genuinely a carbon negative material. How? Well, the hempcrete plant itself is a carbon capture machine. It grows, it sucks CO2 out of the atmosphere, and when we mix the woody inner core, the herd, with a lime binder, that carbon is locked away sequestered for the entire lifespan of the building. Traditional concrete, steel, brick, well, they all have huge carbon footprints. But hempcrete? It's actively fighting climate change with every wall, every floor, every roof. This isn't just sustainable, it's regenerative. And for those of you concerned about safety and health in your home, this is where hempcrete truly shines it's naturally fire resistant. We're talking about materials that char, but do not combust or spread flame. Imagine the peace of mind you'd have. And it doesn't just stop there, hempcrete is also naturally mold proof. This is due to the high alkalinity of the lime and its incredible breathability. Unlike conventional walls that can trap moisture and become breeding grounds for mold, Hempcrete allows vapour to pass through, regulating humidity and preventing those damp, unhealthy conditions. This means healthier indoor air quality, no more stuffy, stale air, and a significantly reduced risk of respiratory issues caused by the mould spores. From insulating properties that make passive housing a breeze, to being a carbon sequestered superhero, to creating a fire safe and mould free healthy living space, Hempcrete stands alone. It's a game changer, plain and simple. So with all these incredible upsides, why isn't everyone using it? This brings us to the shocking part of our story. So let's address the elephant in the room. The title, the building material so good they tried to make it illegal, isn't just clickbait. It speaks to a very real and a very frustrating chapter in modern history. Oh, I haven't got my light on. Great. They isn't just some shadowy cabal targeting sustainable buildings specifically, but rather industrial hemp. The very plant that we get our amazing hempcrete from was an unfortunate casualty of a wider war on drugs. For centuries, hemp was a staple crop globally. It was used for rope, textiles, paper, and even canvas for sails. Literally the backbone of many industries. And then came the early 20th century and the rising tide of drug prohibition, specifically targeting marijuana. The problem? Well, lawmakers fueled by sensationalist media and powerful industry lobbies like timber, nylon, petroleum plastics, which saw hemp as a competitor. Well, they failed to properly distinguish between the psychoactive marijuana cultivated for its high THC content and industrial hemp, which contains only trace amounts of THC. We're talking 0.3%. And it's grown for its fibre, seeds and herd. In 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act was passed in the United States, effectively banning all cannabis varieties, including industrial hemp. But again, this wasn't about public safety 
it was about protecting vested interests. Suddenly, a plant that could produce incredibly durable, versatile and environmentally friendly products, including what would become hempcrete, became virtually impossible to grow or process or research. For almost a century, a plant that offered solutions to countless industrial and environmental problems were off limits. This wasn't an intentional conspiracy against sustainable building, but it had the same devastating effect. Innovation in hemp-based construction was stifled, pushing us deeper into reliance on carbon-intensive materials like concrete and steel. Imagine if crude oil had been made illegal in the 1930s. How different would our world be today? That's the kind of scale of impact this ban had on hemp. Thankfully, the tide is turning. In 2018, the US Farm Bill finally unequivocally legalized industrial hemp, distinguishing it clearly from marijuana. We're not gonna be smoking our walls. This opened the floodgates for farmers, researchers, and innovative companies to re-explore hemp's potential. And among the most exciting rediscoveries is, of course, hempcrete. The illegal past is behind us, but it's a stark reminder of how progress can be hindered by misunderstanding and vested interests. So with the past behind us, what does a building with hempcrete look like today? How practical is it for modern construction? The answer, amazingly, is incredibly practical and increasingly accessible. Hempcrete can be used in several ways. You can get prefabricated hempcrete blocks, which are essentially giant Lego bricks for your house. Or it can be mixed on site and cast into forms, much like concrete, creating seamless monolithic walls. It can even be spray applied onto an existing structure for insulation and structural enhancement. This versatility means that it can be integrated into a wide range of architectural styles from sleek, minimalistic homes to rustic, natural dwellings. Architects love hempcrete for its design flexibility. It offers unique aesthetic possibilities. You can leave it exposed for a natural, earthy texture, or finish it with beautiful lime plasters that enhance its breathability. The ability to create curved walls, its lightweight nature, and its excellent acoustic properties open up entirely new avenues for creative and functional design. Imagine a home that not only performs incredibly well, but also feels incredibly natural and serene. Now, let's talk about the big question, cost. Currently, the upfront cost of a building with hempcrete can be slightly higher than conventional construction, mainly because it's still a niche material and its supply chains are developing. However, this initial investment is quickly offset by substantial long-term savings. We're talking dramatically reduced energy bills for heating and cooling, minimal maintenance due to its mold and pest resistance, and an incredibly long lifespan. Buildings constructed with hempcrete are expected to last for centuries. When you factor in all of the health benefits and the environmental impact, the true cost-benefit analysis overwhelmingly swings in hempcrete's favor. I believe that it's an investment in your well-being, your finances, and your planet. The potential for hempcrete is immense. As cultivation and processing become more widespread, and as builders become more familiar with the material, its cost will just inevitably decrease, which will obviously make it a more attractive option. I think that we're on the cusp of a true paradigm shift in construction. We're moving from building against nature to building with it, creating homes that are not just structures, but living, breathing environments that nurture us and the planet. So that is, so far, the incredible story of hempcrete, a material with mind-blowing benefits for energy efficiency, for health, for the environment, almost lost to history due to outdated laws and misinformation. 
but now it's back and it's potentially set to change the face of architecture. I obviously love hempcrete. I'm interested to know what you all feel. Comment below the video. I, I, I really want to get some, some conversations going about hempcrete. And if you found that deep dive inspiring or interesting, there are lots of the videos on Archischool, this YouTube channel, about different building materials and sustainable architecture, design, construction in general. And actually, if you click just here, there is another sustainable building material that you will probably be interested in. Have a watch.